Webinars are a really powerful tool to really connect and engage with your audience online. In this video, we catch up with Steve Dotto from dottotech.com and he talks us through the best webinar software to help you decide which one is right for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we talk about in this video, you can find linked in the description below. There's also links to Steve's website and his YouTube channel, so make sure you check him out and subscribe as well. Let's jump into it. Steve, thank you very much for joining us. For those of you who don't know who he is, then make sure you check out his channel. This guy is awesome. Not just video, but webinars and really everything tech and online. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I, for many years, I was in traditional media doing uh, a syndicated TV show, radio show, newspaper in Canada. Uh, and uh, But 2010, I migrated over into the online space and took my experiences from traditional media into the online world. And that's kind of the lens that I look at our new space through. And that is such a good question. You know, the problem with uh, the webinar tools is they aren't the tools that you can test out. You can't really sit there and try this webinar platform or try that webinar platform with your audience because once you're into the webinar, you're kind of fully committed, aren't you? You're into it. So for me, as you're evaluating the different webinar platforms, if you take a step back from what the webinar platform's marketing does and look at how the webinar software is designed, kind of understand what it's designed for, it's going to give you an idea if it's going to work for you. All people aren't going to have the same goal. Some people want sales, some people want it for training, some people want it for internal communications. There's lots of different reasons we might want to do webinars. So when you look at the platforms, we'll just talk about a couple of the real, the top ones. Let's talk about uh, GoToWebinar, let's talk about Webinar Jam, let's talk about Zoom. Let's talk about those three, okay? So GoToWebinar is old school webinar that is, as far as I'm concerned, is not caught up with the time because okay. when we look at it, what it does is it's, uh, it's robust, it's reliable, but it's boring. It doesn't have a great video out option as far as capturing a video, but especially it doesn't have great conversation management. It tends to hide the chat, the conversation that your community is having, and it tries to isolate the host from that chat. So I think it's really limited as far as that. It's really a corporate, almost a corporate training tool where you're not concerned about how comfortable your audience is. You're more concerned about the fact that they have to sit there and listen through it. Yeah. Now let's talk about Zoom for a moment. Zoom was designed as conferencing software from the beginning. It's designed to encourage interaction, encourage conversation. It's not necessarily outstanding for large list building type webinars or internet marketing webinars, but it's phenomenal for training and conversation and consultation. From as small a group as two to, to, to much larger groups, the fact that you can easily engage and bring other guests into the conversation, that is the strength of Zoom. So for conversations, for dialogue, Zoom, because it's built on conferencing, is a really great choice. And how many people can you get into a Zoom? Oh, you can, you can have 500, oh, yeah, right. 1,000. Okay. I mean, yeah. you, can, you can scale up with all of these solutions, so yeah. that's not an issue. Of course, you're going to be delivering it slightly differently when you have a larger scale, but perhaps in Zoom, you might be doing more of a panel conversation than a one-person presentation, if you think about the conferencing capabilities from that perspective, right? Yeah. Now, the one that I end up using myself, because I'm an online marketer, is Webinar Jam. Now, Webinar Jam was built by internet marketers. It's got all sorts of features that are designed to support the online marketing world. For example, it's got it's got uh, it's got its own email autoresponder. It's got wonderful integration to CMSs, to, 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 to uh, not CMSs, CRMs. So Infusionsoft and, and the like, being able to, as soon as somebody registers for the webinar using Webinar Jam software, to that, have that create a record for you in your CRM. That's super powerful. So the tracking from a, then all the way all through. The tracking right? yeah. All the way through, it's very powerful from that perspective. So that tool is built. The other thing that it's really, and, and Zoom is also very good at, is making sure that you have an audience, all of the audience chat is right up in front in, in, in there. Now where that's important is when you're delivering a webinar, you don't have any opportunity for the same social proof as you do in a seminar. You can't have, see somebody nodding, you can't hear, you hear a gasp, you can't hear people going yes, you can't hear people groaning, you don't get the proof that, that we all crave the out of the group. Yeah, yeah. it's social proof. Where 
whereas in a chat you'll see that you'll see a, the, the presenter make a comment and then all of a sudden the chat will explode with support or questions and when people are asking questions it might validate or uh, you, you, your customer so from that perspective I like a tool that creates that sort of engagement but that's because I'm in a marketing environment I'm doing some training but ultimately I'm probably going to be moving into the sales process and webinar jam brings other tools into that such as the ability to do calls to action etc now all of these tools the other thing you want to look for is does it give you flexibility to do hybrid webinars if you want where you have live presentation but then you're interspersing pre-recorded content that's a really powerful way to control the time of the webinar because often a presenter is going to lose track a little bit as he's you know and start to wander a little bit off track and, and stretch what's supposed to be a 45 minute webinar to an hour 15 which does doesn't do any good for anybody so that's a tool that's something that both zoom and webinar jam and for that matter uh, go to webinar they all do fairly well but the other huge differentiation in my mind with a tool like Webinar Jam is it's the only tool that has a producer's console. It's got a second window that opens when you launch the webinar that gives a producer a, a look at the entire environment of all of the webinar assets. So you can see the chat happening, you can see your videos and your offers that you're going to be loading. You can boot people out of the room, you can see, you, see, you get all the analytics of what's happening in the room. You have your poll questions and all of that all preloaded. And it's like a radio producer's console or a television producer's switcher almost sitting in front where you can assign the assets Button and insert nice. them into the webinar and I find that to be a really a really good way of approaching the webinars so understanding a little bit of the genesis of the webinar one designed for social marketing one designed for conferencing the other designed for more corporate communications I uh, will give you a good idea of what tool might work best for you Awesome. Thank you very much for sharing your tips and where can we find out more where can everyone subscribe or dototech.com Awesome. Thank you. So that's everything you need to know about webinar software so you can make the best decision for which one is right for you. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and check out Steve Dotto's channel, which we've linked on screen now. I'll see you soon.